Following the trail of spice shipments, we made our way up to Nunavut Bay, Canada, the secret hub of Jean Besson's shipping empire. As a young man, he trekked across Canada to strike it rich during the gold rush of 1852. An avid prospector, he took some chances and ended up buried alive in an avalanche. Miraculously, the quick freeze kept him alive, and 120 years later, thanks to global warming, he thawed out. A product of his time, he dreams of taming the wild north, damming every river and chopping down all the trees with progress delivered at the sharp end of an axe. Shipping spice for the claw gang proved a lucrative way to bankroll his one-man war against nature. And yet, I have to feel a little sorry for him. He's just a normal guy from the 1850s. Back in his day, he'd be a hero, but today, he's a villain. Either way, that man's got more than his fair share of the clockwork parts. What a low-tech guy like Jean Bassan is doing with robot parts is a mystery. I almost don't want to know. But as always, it's only a matter of time before I find out.
rustic, but don't be fooled. It's the control center for Jean Bizon's trade empire. Sneak inside and raid his files. You're sure to find out where he keeps his clockwork parts. Ransacking his files doesn't sound hard. Now, climbing up a sheer rock wall? That'll be a challenge. You're in luck. Before Jean Bassan took over, this used to be a popular destination for rock climbers. Some of their old wall hooks are still around. I'm guessing I just jump and hit the circle button to latch on. That's right. And remember to lean back before you spring off the hook. You'll get more altitude. Thanks for the tip. I'll give it a try. Looks like he didn't notice me come in. Just stay out of sight and take a picture of each of his train routes. They should narrow our search for his share of the clockwork parts. All right, I'm on it. Hello, Arpeggio here. Salutations, Mr. Arpeggio. Y'all got time to shoot the breeze? Of course, for you, chum, always. Although, must we communicate through that dreadful speakerphone? Yeah, I can think better while my legs move. Pumps blood to your brain. Yes, of course. One must keep blood in one's brain. But do tell, is there some pressing matter you'd like to discuss? First off, are you still a coming on schedule to get that Northern Lights battery? Yes, we're well underway. My blimp should arrive at the end of the week. Bullseye. For a second, when are you going to give me a look-see at that clockwork brain of yours? I'd sure like to buy it off you. Sly, did you hear that? Bison's hidden the Iron Horse blueprints in his trophy bass. Head for the fish on top of the fireplace and Feel <laughs> excellent! Now get out of that cabin before you're spotted! Easy there, partner. You're all up in a lather. It's just that I found some real use for the clockwork parts I got. Why, I put three of them in the engines of
The last trophy, Bass, is above the fireplace. Be careful. Attention all cabin guards. I've heard tell from the boys at Ponderosa Cabin there's someone been in my hidden blueprints. Everyone stay sharp. This ain't no summer camp. I don't pay you boys to lollygag while there's a thief in the... Shouldn't take long. Thanks to Sly's efforts, we now know the location of all three of the local clockwork parts. Two lugs and a stomach. John Besson has grafted each piece to the engine in one of his iron horse trains. This improvement allows the trains to run all night and all day. We won't have the luxury of sneaking in while they're stopped. While they're in motion, the only way aboard is through a hatch on the caboose roof, which unfortunately has been locked down. These need to go. First, collect the spice gas from the balloons above town, and then land on the back of the caboose to blow off the locks. Once the way is cleared, I'll suit up and jump into Iron Horse number one while it passes near town. With some luck, we'll have the first clockwork lug in a few hours. I supposed to get up there to collect the spice gas. Murray's already commandeered this ice plane. 
jump on its strut, and he'll fly you up to a good paragliding altitude. Oh, and strap on a special vacuum backpack. It'll automatically collect the spice gas after you've popped a balloon. Sounds like fun. Once you've collected enough gas, you'll have to land directly on the train's caboose. Why directly on the caboose? Denatured spice gas is very unstable at lower altitudes. Unless you land on the caboose, you won't have time to get the gas tank to the lock before it blows up. So you're saying I either land on the caboose or get blown to bits? Well, that's correct. Chemistry can be a harsh mistress. Hang on tight. We're going up.
slow down, Bentley. What happened? Murray, he went out looking for a snack and got captured by Inspector Fox. Carmelita? She's here? Don't worry, Bentley. I know how to handle her. But I don't know where she's locked up Murray. I'm used to having all the facts. Calm down. Carmelita's not cruel like the Contessa. I'll follow her without being seen. She's bound to check on Murray sooner or later. Okay, that, that's a good plan. Just don't get caught too. I don't want to be alone again. <laughs> Hey, criminal, you doing okay in there? I know it's tight, but you won't get shocked if you hold still. I'm okay. And thanks for that bag of jelly beans. I was starving. Won't be long now. Once I bust the other members of your gang, we'll get out of here. I'm grateful for the jelly beans and all, but aren't you on the outs with Interpol right now? I'm an honest cop. Busting the Cooper gang will prove my innocence and show everyone that Constable Neela set me up. You mean Captain Neela? I hear she got promoted. Whatever. Just sit tight. I'm going to look for your pals. Murray, I've come to break you out. Fat chance. This thing is triple padlocked and Inspector Fox is carrying all the keys. Come on, buddy. You know I'm an expert at pickpocketing. She's tough, Sly. If you manage to get a key, you'd better run for it. Carmelita's sure to notice and chase after you. Leave her to me. I felt that, thief. 
Sneak up on me. will find you. There's nowhere to hide. Charlie horse standing in that box. My pleasure. You know how I love to mess around with Carmelita. Yeah, that's weird. See you back at the safe house. number one should be passing by any time now. I, I see it. It's moving awfully fast. Just jump on the caboose and go in through the hatch. Piece of cake.
ranged robot organ for us, and one less iron horse train for John Bassan. <laughs> Things are going great. We've already stolen one of Jean Bassan's three clockwork parts. However, Iron Horse 2 and 3 are going to be a little tougher to crack. First, I'll need to hop aboard Iron Horse 2 and do a little preemptive RC chopper strike to clear out the air defenses. Once cleared, it'll be up to Sly to work his magic in the interior to get at that second clockwork lug. Murray, you'll need to trap some of the local bear cubs in order to unlock a nearby hand car. We're gonna need it to catch up with Iron Horse number three. But don't worry, the cubs won't be hurt. Although I can't say the same for the guards. Apart. A metal's too resilient for my bombs or your muscle. No, for this job, we're going to have to rely on a stronger force. The love of a mother for her child. Uh, you got something to tell me? Yes, I've had the good fortune of locating two juvenile bear cubs. If you put them together inside that fence, they'd surely start fighting. Bears at that age are particularly antisocial. Noise from the squabbles should bring their mother around to free the angry youths. I get ya. That big mama bear will be able to smash the fence no problem to free her cubs. That's correct. Beware, cubs, for you are hunted by the Murray. <laughs>
What's up, Bentley? Here comes Iron Horse number two. You and that RC chopper of yours ready? We'll get the job done, provided I can catch up with that train. Sly won't stand a chance making it through this train unless I neutralize the aerial defenses. Good thing I outfitted the RC chopper with a new cannon. Let's see. The X button drops bobs and the square button shoots forward. <laughs> I should bomb those missile launchers before things get ugly. Bentley. There's more than one way to get on top of that caboose. The other clockwork lug should be hooked into the engine's furnace. Sneak your way up there and grab it. 
Okay, guys, this is it. Time to break into Iron Horse number three and carry away the clockwork stomach. Now, the train's moving too fast to jump onto here in town, so we'll have to catch up with it on Murray's new handcar. Once we're in position, Sly will hop aboard and make his way up to the engine. While he travels through the interior, I'll provide air support with my RC chopper. I've planned this as a textbook train robbery. If we all do our jobs right, what could possibly go wrong? and steal the clockwork stomach. That John Bassan's one strange guy. The claw gang divides up the clockwork parts and he walks away with the stomach and lungs? It still creeps me out. Get creeped out later when we aren't riding an antique handcar at breakneck speeds. 
good point. It's time for a train robbery. stomach is as safe as a snowman in winter. I'd like to meet the harmon that's been looting my iron horse trains. By Jiminy, I get hot neath the collar just thinking about how I'd cut that boy down. I'd kill him like a spotted owl. I sure I just do it to meet exciting ladies like yourself. If you'd like some excitement, why not climb up on top of the train? I'm sure to get your heart pumping, maybe even show you my new ride. No thanks, Neela. I've seen enough already. What's the problem, Poodle? Afraid you can't take me on. Have to call up your little friends for help. Come in, little friends. Neela's got me pinned down. Any chance of air support? I've already launched the RC chopper. She won't know what hit her. Come on, Cooper. Let's play. What in blazes? All right, little RC friend. This should be a quick bit of destruction. Fancy flying, little friend. Whatever you say, poodle. Hey, Sly! Get to that clockwork stomach fast! This old hand cart is starting to fall apart! Hey! Looks like John Bassan's wised up and bolted the stomach down. We'll have to crack the engine block to get it free. Then that's just what we'll do. Uh, 
well-placed bob, now the train smokestack will knock it loose. Just make sure to take some cover. Not so fast, chum. The clockwork part is mine. They will all be mine. <laughs> I've got an upset stomach on my hands, but other than that, I feel great. The gang and I had pulled off the impossible. We'd successfully robbed all of John Bassan's iron horse trains, and we were walking away with three, count them, three clockwork parts. And as a bonus, we shut down spice distribution in all of North America. Needless to say, we were pretty pleased with ourselves. Can't say the same for Carmelita. Once again, the framed policewoman had to run from the cops. Which was fun at first, but I'm starting to feel a little sorry for her. I mean, what if they replaced Carmelita with someone else? I don't want another cop on my tail. She's a big part of why this is all fun. Sooner or later, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to clear her name. Some way other than turning myself in. Thank <laughs> you.